and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, I'll be going over what you need to be doing in Madden right now. Now, guys, as you guys know, we're borderline in Madden Limbo. The combine promo has ended, and that was kind of the last big, bigger promo that we were expecting, but it wasn't that big. So now, we're looking forward to the free agency promo as well as the path to the draft. Now, free agency is going to really depend. It literally all depends based on real life. It could be a bang. It could be it could be hit or miss. If Brady moves and uh, Byron Jones moves and then let's say Dak goes somewhere and then, uh, you know, so on and so forth, it could get pretty fun from a Madden standpoint and a real life standpoint. But if Brady ends up staying, I mean, they'll still get cards. That's the other thing you have to understand. As long as they enter free agency, I believe they will still get cards. Because I've seen cards like Anthony Barr, who stayed with his hometown team and still get a card. So, I mean, I think as long as they entered free agency, they will get a card. So, from a Madden standpoint, I think it'll still be all the same to us. But, that's only if they make it all the way to free agency, which I believe at this point they're going to. So, it could be pretty exciting. But guys, there's some things that I'd recommend you get done before we get into that stage in Madden. Because as well as a series update probably won't be so far off the horizon. Today's date is the 9th. I believe by the end of March, we should be getting another series update. I don't know when the last one was. I think it was like end of January, maybe early February, but I think the end of January. So we should be expecting one in the near future, which should mean a few things. Now guys, as you guys know, I've been telling you about the journey in Gauntlet Master. Now last year, guys, well, real quick before we get into this. Make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, boys. Come join the family. Comment down below if you guys need any help, and give this video a big thumbs up. Now, like I was saying, like I said, last year with the gauntlet and the journey. Around this time of the year, they're going to drop the final gauntlet and the final journey. Now, what's going to come with these? The final gauntlet is going to give you the final master token you need, the gauntlet completion token that you'll need to complete the gauntlet master set. Now, the gauntlet master set was a set last year that gave us some pretty cool stuff. Not to mention, the final gauntlet gave us a new free players, and then you were able to put all the tokens together to get another free player. So you were able to essentially get four free total players from all the gauntlets, as well as in the final drop, two free players. So pretty much, let's say the first drop was like 87 overalls, whatever they were. I forgot what the first one was. 85s, 87s. Then the second one was uh, 90s. And now the third one would have been like 93. Last year, they were 93s. I believe it this, but they're a little later this year. So they do it again. I believe it would be like 95s. So we get like 95, so then we get a 95 player, which would be pretty cool for our team. And then you put all three of them into the set. Not all three of the players, all three of the, the tokens you got when you when you did the solos. And then you will get a master, which I think will be any of the players that they've offered us, but at a higher overall, like maybe all 97s. So like Juju Smith, Schuster, 97. And these cards can be powered up. These cards will then enter the power up. So let's say Leonard Fournette, 97. You could probably get him to 99 powered up. Juju Smith, Ed Oliver, Matt Ryan and so on matt ryan wasn't there right and so on and so forth it really just depends on who you picked uh tyra matthew but it could be super fun it could be some really good players again they're going to introduce another wave of players probably for the last one when that drops so it could be even better options last year we got like sean taylor steve hutchinson and a few of those guys towards the end we'll look at something like that again oh lorenzo neal we got i'm not sure but i'd like to see that that'd be super cool and then as well as the journey guys remember if you go down to milestones the journey has a similar thing it's called the journey to completion token which means there's a journey one completion token which means there should be a journey three completion token same thing i don't know if we'll take the same masters like we get byron jones michael thomas maybe they'll give us an option to get like a 97 or 98 michael thomas or byron jones which would be kind of weird because both um michael thomas has a honors card and byron jones will get a free agency card more than likely but if that is the case guys we'll still be super fun maybe they're going to give us just another crop of players entirely separately you just have to use the other uh, tokens to get them either way I'm okay with it. Either way, I'll take a free player, guys. I have no problem with that. Now, beyond those solos, is there much else to do? The combine, obviously, you can get your mech half if you really want to get that done. Not a lot of people seem to be all on top of that like you would have thought they would have been. Um, NFL combine was kind of a wash. Assemble your team, obviously, old. Team builders, too. You can get your 95 overall fantasy pack and complete one of your plays if you haven't already. But beyond that, guys, oh, and make sure you're playing your Ultimate Legend solo challenges to get your free Ultimate Legend. I believe we are like three or four weeks away from that. Could be wrong, but I don't think I am. But that pretty much sums up what I'd be doing as far as solos go. I think that wraps up what you should be getting done. You need your completion tokens, guys. And to get the completion tokens, for all you wondering, I believe it takes every star. So see, like, I'm a total of 20... Oh, no, I'm a total of 45 stars off. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you really look at it and you realize that I played almost all of them, and I only have one of the two there, 
I have two there, and I have two there. So if I played them, that's six times five, which is 30. So that means I'd still be about 20, uh, what is it, what was I? How much was it, 35? I'd still be about, I believe, 20 short. Which, again, you guys might say, well, okay, that 20 is not bad. Well, it is when you realize that what the 20 is are probably all these last stars I have. One, 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 two, two, two. So I'd, I'd have to go back and literally play all these all over again just to get one extra star, which I probably was probably a reason why I didn't get the extra star the first time. So it could be a little challenging, but that's why I want you should get it done now instead of waiting for the, the new update and then realizing, okay, I got to go back and get these done now. Trust me, it's not going to be fun doing the gauntlet and the journey all at the same time, all in the same few days just to get it. And as well as maxing your level up, guys. Come on. It's March 9th. If your level isn't Mar if your level is 90 yet, come on. Get your level to 90. Get your free rewards. Take advantage. Cause but the longer you wait, the less those rewards will be valued at. Like the power pass was awesome a few weeks ago. But if you wait till like next month to finally get that power pass, it'll be cool. But it won't feel the same as getting it when the player was worth 500 k Like when I used it on Saquon or Dickerson or all these other players that I did gameplays with. Definitely is fun. And guys, with the next with the next series update, we'll probably be getting a 98 overall power pass. Right, yeah, 98, which means I don't know who I use it on. At this current time, in, in like this current time, this current place, I'll probably use it on either Lamar Jackson or Night Train Lane. I might use it on Lamar because I'm definitely gonna want to try him out. I don't think I can go. I don't think I can go the rest of the year without ever trying that Lamar Jackson out, just because I have to. I rocked with Lamar all year, but if not, I'll probably use it on Night Train Lane. But there'll be more cards coming out like Ultimate Legend and stuff, so I gotta really see. But Ultimate Legend won't be as rare as that Night Train Lane or that Lamar. So I gotta got really take my chance. I also gotta see what his Redux price is gonna be because I could really sway my decision either way. It really just comes down to those two things, guys, at the end of the day. And now beyond that, as far as the market goes, how should you be spending your coin right now? I'd probably be waiting at this point. Legend Saturday already happened. Prices are kind of stagnant right now. Now here's the thing, when prices are this stagnant for this long, especially when there's not much content, they're gonna be up. Now, Nitro Lane did come down. Like I said, A, Jalen Ramsey came out. Jalen Ramsey coming out, he is not as good as him, but he has a similar style to him, which should have, which brought his value down because people might be saying, oh, I don't need that trend. Then I'll choose Ramsey for now. So the value is going down a little bit. These cards overall won't be going down for quite a while. But like I said, I wouldn't buy any of these cards right now because they're going to come down a lot more. Trust me, when, a, when cards have been the same price for over a month and a half, you should be worried because they're going to drop at some point hard. 96, 97s. These guys, these guys have been staying stagnant, like I said. These guys are stagnant because 96 and 97s are pretty much the bulk of the cold community of cards right now. Now you might be saying, yeah, but there's some 98s. Well, there's not enough of them to really validate an upgrade, and, like an increase in overall. Only a lot of people have those cards. Most people right now at the price point have 96s and a few 97s. Most teams are made up of 96s right now and a few 97s. But in the case of what we're going to be getting to soon in Madden, once they start dropping, like, once they make it consistently, it's like right now it's 96, 97s, and a few 98s. Once it's like 97s all over the place, a bunch of 98s and a few 99s that's it that's when that whole 96 uh, market right there's gonna crash but it hasn't happened yet but guys it's coming in the near future we when you guys know when we've been working with the same overalls for this long we're gonna get a big increase in overall pretty soon probably the free agency problem will introduce like a 99 probably 98 masters which will then introduce a bunch of 97 cards as well coming from the path of the draft all the way up to 99 and probably by the end of march when i predict that we'll start seeing a crash in these 96s kind of it kind of just has to happen there's really no way around that because 96s can't be the same price for a month and a half. It's gonna, they're gonna have to come down. But like I said, Madden's been very, they're really trying hard not to kill their game just yet. Cause they have, they think that once they drop that 98, 99 and things start to crash and they have, we have 99s, we're gonna kill it. But that's not what we care about at this moment in time. Because realistically, I've been able to power up and get my guys up to 99 for like a month and a half now, as well as having the MVP of the league, which will be Super Bowl MVP. So it's not gonna be like that game changing to me. What's more game changing to me would be content i'd much rather have content every day even if they started going overboard like in the olden years or the olden days when they had uh you know 99 overall one star two star at this point in the year that's what they should start doing again like 99 one star 99 two star three star really get up there to like start increasing things it might be kind of a money grab but that would be perfect right now in march to start doing stuff like that at this point in madden where it's towards the dead season you start doing that stuff i just i didn't like when they did it back in like august and november when the game just started but nowadays i think it'd be more than fine I don't know if they'll ever go back to that, but that would be pretty cool. It would be a nice addition to the end of the game to make like some juice stats, 100 stats again. It would be kind of fun, guys. But guys, that's about it for the video. Remember the checklist. Don't buy yet. Wait. Things will be coming down. Free agency promo coming. Path to the draft promo coming. 
Get your journey three completion token or get your journey two and one completion token and prep for journey three. Get your gauntlet one and two completion token and prep for gauntlet three. Be ready for everything, guys. Get your last three players, stuff you need to get ready and level up. Level 90 is not too hard. Look up on my channel, a fast way to level up, guys. It took me a few hours to get to level 90. About it. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on the notification bell, boys. I'm out. Peace.